and welcome back to Westcott Place Lego Jurassic World. Last time we finished up Jurassic Park The Lost World, now we're going to move on to Jurassic Park 3. This time I'd like to talk about the uh, Let's play policies that a lot of companies have adopted. How they don't. Games being played. They don't want videos of it. They don't want people streaming it. And they're attacking heavy time people with it. I give you the resonating chamber of a velociraptor. And the only thing I can think of is a lot of games I play today. To say, I would not have picked up and purchased had I not seen Dr. Grant? other well, people Kirby, play. Kirby and, Kirby and, Man, and then to turn around and say, we can't put, you can't post video of our game, you can't monetize it on YouTube with ads, why shouldn't we be able to make a handful of bucks? So let's face it, a lot of us aren't going to make hundreds off of YouTube monetization. Me when we get there. I, I'm trying to do it, obviously, because I'd like to at least pay for my very terrible gaming addiction. I love games. They're so much fun. The stories. The entertainment. I love them. But I can't make money off them because some companies are like, no, you can't. And other companies I've been trying to get in contact with, as I've stated previously, you can't get a hold of them very easily. Or you contact them, you can wait a long time for it. I would love to be able to just have a website, if nothing else, have these companies post, hey, you can play, you can play our game. Hey, you can't play our game. No such thing as safe. We have but I really believe play. personally they should allow us to do that monetization. Nothing else. Take idea. it like this. If we do it and they, they they want to, they can take 5% from our earnings, give us the other 45% and YouTube can take its other 50%. Like they do normally with mod video monetization. Really need to work on I see that should be a marriage. fair policy. <laughs> But YouTube monetization can be a great thing to do for gamers. It's a rough time right now in the economy, especially here in the U.S. where I'm from. I'm this is. I'm doing this in hopes of actually making a second buck here. I'm broke. I have absolutely no money. I have a hard time. And like a lot of people don't have, like I don't have insurance. On the island on top of us. I have to, any medical, dental, eye expenses I have, I have to pay out of pocket. If I could make just enough money to pay it, my video gaming habit. The truth I don't, I don't go on party and drink. I'm not big on it. It would be pretty cool. Help solve this. I never knew they attacked the birds. But the flights hurt so much. Come on up. But what are your thoughts? What do you think about the whole uh, YouTube not allowing? We buy the games, we support them, because I don't know about you, but I have, on more than one occasion, purchased games I've seen other people play, because I was like, hey, this looks fun, I want to play this. I know nobody likes to watch ads, they can get fairly annoying. 
But at the same point, that's how business works. Game companies don't deserve something out of, uh. Because they did invent, make the game. But in a, lot, in a large respect, we are giving them free advertising for a game. Because. They're not paying us. YouTube pays us 50, like, 50, like 45 to 50% monetization on the ads if we get enough views to actually make anything off it. This is very true. A lot of it is a gray area of the law. I, I do understand that there are a lot of people out there who take it to the extent they're going, hey, I did all this work, I should be able to get paid for this, but they're not giving due respect. Like, I've been graciously allowed to thanks to uh, Lego Corporation clarifying it through an email to me that whereas I'm not allowed to monetize these videos and I will not because that is their wishes and I, I'm glad they at least are allowing me to uh, post these videos but they at least had a uh, solid thought process on it. they said no you can't yes you can't a lot of companies they're not very clear on this and that does make this difficult not just for myself, but other streamers. Clarity is something that would just make life a lot easier for everyone. What about the other guy? Cooper's a professional. He can handle himself. Yay, flying planes. Who has a satellite phone? I do. This is true. Like, uh, Yacht Club games from, uh, Shovel Knight, my previous series. They're like, you know, hey, you can play our game, you can stream it, you can monetize it. And I will I repeat to this day, Shovel Knight, awesome game. I was playing it the other day, just off the screen. several companies out there that I'm trying to get in contact with, actually indie developers, because I, despite them being indie developers, I'd still prefer to have their permission before trying to do anything. 
Because I really don't. I do not want to abduct them. It's their game. They do have the right to make these calls. It's their content. Yeah, I know. I would like to uh, thank Controller Breakers for everything. <laughs> They have taught me much of how to do this whole streaming thing. Check them out on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Good. I really have to pay a little better attention to what I'm doing when I'm playing this and talking. So I'm going to get myself in trouble. It's time you did some explaining, Mr. Kirby. this game, though, I would say this is a great game for all ages, kids, teenagers, adults. Because it's a fairly straightforward, simple game, but it requires you to think a little bit. It requires you to look around. And, by the way, Lego is not paying me anything to advertise this game. These are my opinions. Nothing else. I wish Lego would pay me, that'd be awesome. Lego, if you want to hire me at all, please feel free if you're watching this. You can pay me in Legos. I would love that. I would, I would love a Lego Death Star. Or a life-size Lego T-Rex. Let's continue. Alright. We don't want to go that way, because that guy's a jerk. Trying to eat us. So we're going to keep following these uh, ghost bricks. Studs. Things. Yeah, studs. That's what they're called. Ah! Fucking copies. That is important. It helps us uh, block off the uh, copies from being jerks to my face. But let me get back on track. Sorry, I tend to go off on tangents and get lost in my thoughts. Not a good habit, whatever. It's gonna happen. Block off that copy hole. Oh crap. Drowning! Yeah, they're fine. Time to cut the grass. Raptor claws. Multi purpose tools. Here's another fascinating fact for you. But, uh. Do give your love to indie developers. Because, remember this, guys. All the big companies were indie developers for games at one point. But if there's any games you'd like to talk about that you saw coming up, or you saw at E3, we can talk about them. The game I'm looking forward to is actually another dinosaur game, Horizon. The Zero Dawn? Yes, Horizon, Zero Dawn. You hunt robotic dinosaur beast thing with a fucking bow and arrow. Please look up the depth of the gameplay video they showed. Sure, that yeah. one, everything. That was easily beautiful. This is Isla Sorna, Site B. Nobody move a muscle. Look at that T Rex. He was so sophisticated a second ago. Another great thing with these with Lego game here though, this is like the Cliff quiet. Notes version of uh It's Dr. Grant. 
so you can like I said, clip notes version. You can get you can watch this gameplay and not have a single clue about this whole movie. T-Rex than the Spinosaurus. Maybe we can distract it? Yeah, I don't entirely remember what I'm supposed to be doing here. Wait. There we go. Figure it out. Need Dr. Grant. Good luck. Let's launch this thing. Supposed to go to the T Rex again. Sometimes the controls go wonky, sometimes the AI here gets a little stupid. It's okay. I don't think they Overall, free.
some stuff. Crap. Build. Build, Dr. Grant. Right. Whoever heads over needs to distract the Spinosaurus again. Such thing as Kirby Enterprise. It's Kirby Paint and Tile Plus. Plus stands for Batman. But anyways, while they're doing the all chit chat, Westgate Shopping Center. There's actually a list of games I want to talk about go back in the future. If I can get a decent webcam, I could actually just do a straight streaming thing here for you, or you can have just to sit down and talk. Well, I sitting down. You're probably already sitting. So just to talk then, really. Not really so there's a lot of games like right? over was. the summer, so Mighty Number no. Nine. What do we do? Fallout Four. Wow, Fallout Four. No Man's Sky in the future. The new Doom. Uh, Firewatch. Oh, there's just there's so much coming. We are living in the golden age of gaming. I'd have to say because we have access to the early days of gaming. From the NES, SNES coming mine. back. You listening to me? Say Genesis. Mine. Now we have all this new stuff coming out. We are really just. We have got it made. That's also why I wish a few more companies would let us do the Let's Play videos. Even if it's not, even if we can't make some money off of them, which I would still love but to be as a preferred, just to be able to post the videos of us playing through the games would be wonderful. Can I fully admit, I am not going to be the next big hit. I'm not that funny compared to some of you guys. Whoa. Hey, there's some luggage stuck up here. Someone will need to cut it down. Okay, let's do a push it check. Sorry, Javit. I'm a jerk. Mm. Oh yeah. Alright, did I ask you? Follow the tracks. Be the great hunter. Can you there do you do something go. with these, Dr. Grant? Building, 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 building. I guess I'm up next. <laughs> hey! 
Hey, there's a parasail up here. You can fly one of those. Maybe. As long as the sail's not torn. Yeah, new abilities. Parachute unlocked. I guess I can then. Can you use that? Actually pay attention to a lot of this though. But they make this work just like Legos would. So it's not just they're just making random stuff up. They're throwing it together as how Legos would actually function. So you get Lego physics. Controls are just so wonky. They work great other times, and others it's just. That's the one thing that gives prevents you from getting this game. It's like a B plus game, which is still really awesome. There's Definitely has your play game, value. It's just it's controls at times drive me nuts. Oh, we're gonna watch a movie. levels here today. I think we're going to call it just about it for the day, guys. Because I've got some more emails to send out to multitudes of more companies. Got emails to check. Because if I want to keep bringing you guys more videos, i got to have to put back up after all this one once done. Good news is, checking out the Square Enix thing, they have a lot, they're actually really big on the uh, helping out where they where they own the material for doing Let's Play videos, so, and ad monetizing on YouTube as well. 
As long as they own it, they're okay with it. Given this only covers certain studios, but that's still a really helpful thing that they at least have an entire page dedicated to this where you can find the information you're looking for. And like JVit said, a lot of indie developers love Let's Play. It's free advertising. And they're okay with us making money because we make money, they make money. We all make money. Isn't that the greatest way that things should work? But we're just going to let it pause here. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Like us on our Facebook page, Westcott Plays Games. Go to our YouTube page, subscribe. Just Westcott. Go through, watch, shovel, watch my Shovel Knight playthrough. The, it, it starts off a little rough with the audio and the quality. It does skip, but it gets better as time goes on, as I've learned how to handle the uh, controls of this better. Alright, thanks for watching. Have